What's up everybody? How are you all doing tonight? Welcome back to another episode of Phenomenal Views. I'm your host Nick Smith and I just got done watching VHS 2. Now for all of those who've watched my review, you all should know I like the first VHS. So I was after watching that horrible movie of Haunt, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna watch VHS 2. So I did. And this movie was kind of a mixed bag for me. Um, it is, a, it is a sequel, and it does explain things, but it's not like it connects things. So it's not like a sequel that's um, that's like, oh, you know, this has nothing to do with the first one. No, it does. It, it connects it. So this one, whereas in the first one it was a group of people who were looking for a certain tape that they would get lots of money, this one, it involves this, uh, this couple who film things like, for example... Uh, Ah, whew, tired. It's only almost midnight. But this one uh, involves a couple who films things, and the film starts with this guy going to, uh, he's going into a hotel room, I guess, with a prostitute or something, and so it shows this guy filming it, and so I, I don't know if it was going to be like the guys from the first one who just filmed stuff like that. So he, um... He, uh, I think he even calls the guy and is like, yeah, by the way, uh, your wife asked me to film this and uh, to film you and follow you to see if you were cheating on her. And since you are, uh, you can either pay me the money and I will say I didn't see nothing, I'll keep it to myself, or I can tell your wife that you've been cheating on her. And so like, they basically, I, I don't know, I guess like they do cases or something because they even bring up the first guy, like the guy, like they bring up this guy who's been missing. And, um, so they go to his house, or they, they go to this house that they're trying to look for stuff, and they hear a noise. Well, when they get in there, all they find, uh, is an empty apartment along with, uh, some videotapes. So, they're doing a search for this guy, and so the boyfriend's like, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna search this apartment, and you just check and see, check this hard drive, you know, see what's on it. So when it shows him walking around the house for a little bit, and it does start to create the suspense, and the girlfriend finds actually recording from the first uh, from the first movie, uh, like where the guys are like going through the parking garage and getting the uh, they're pulling the girl's shirt up to show her boobs, that, and she starts watching the VHS tapes. And we see this one. There's There's four on this one, other than for, uh, other from the other one. I'm trying to remember. How many oh no, never mind. There was four on the first one too. So the first one is like about this guy who's in a who's in a car accident and had something happen to his eye. So the doctor gives him this experimental robotic eye. It, it looks like a regular eye, except it's got a video camera in it. And so like the government, I guess like this hospital is testing it out. They're like, um, like you know, we're gonna be able to see everything you do, and we 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 just want to test this. So when he walks out, he goes past this girl, who who sees him. Like she just stares at him. Like, and I honestly was I I was paying attention, but at the same time I was kind of not. I was thinking that not only she, but everyone else in the hospital was just looking at him like he's weird, like, you know, like he's got like that weird eye or something. So, like, we see his apartment, and I'm going to say, this guy has a cool apartment. He has an NES, he has an Xbox, I think he had like a Dreamcast or something. He had a lot of game systems, I was like, you lucky guy. So he's playing some game online, and then he hears a noise, or he, he goes to get tea, and then he hears a noise. And this has some really creepy moments. Like, uh, he run, he goes to the bathroom, or he follows the noise, and he sees someone under this blanket. And he lifts it up, and it's gone. And so then he sees this guy in white who has blood coming from his head, and he runs, and he hides in the bathroom, and he calls the doctor, and he's like, oh, I'm pretty sure I wasn't hallucinating. I know the difference between some random guy and a dead guy. So he falls asleep. And, you know, he checks the room and everything, and everything's fine. Well, then he gets a knock at the door. And it's the same girl from yesterday. Uh, from the, yeah, the same girl from uh, earlier. And so, 
you know, like, she's kind of followed him, and he's like, w why are you following me? And she's like, look, have you been seeing strange things? People that look like they're dead? And he's like, y yeah, uh, how'd you know? And like, we come to find out that she actually used to be deaf until they gave her this kind of surgery. They did something to her ear where she can actually hear dead people. So, she's like, I can help you get rid of them. And he's like, how? And he's like, there's a little girl here. And, like, she basically tells him like, all the psychic stuff, you know. And so, she's like, do you, like, she keeps asking for a beer or something. I don't know, like, at some point, she's trying to basically, she's going to basically tell him, like, how to get rid of him. So, it's around nighttime, and she starts taking her belt off. I was like, what? 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 What's going on here? And then she starts taking her shoes off, and then he turns around, and there's, like, this big fat guy dead in his underwear. He's like, uh, uh, there's a, there's a fat dead guy uh, behind my glass. And he's like, and she's like, yeah, I know. It's like, uh, yeah, I know. I know he's there. And he's like, uh, who is that? That's my uncle. He wasn't very nice. And she's like, look, I'm, I, I can help you make him go away. Just focus on me. She takes her top off and she starts banging the guy. And he's like, what? what? And she's like, I can make you go away. They'll go away if you just focus on me. So they start having sex. And like, he looks over at the dick and she's like, no, 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 focus on me. Don't focus on that. And so he falls asleep, and then he wakes up, and then the same stuff starts happening again, except this time, the girl gets taken, she gets taken to his pool, and she ends up drowning, and he gets out, and he's, um, he's getting, tr like, uh, he actually even, this was like the toughest scene for me to watch. He takes a, like, you know, like one of those old shavers that, like, you pull the blade out like this? He's like, all right, man, you're coming out. And he actually, he stabs himself in the eye. I was oh, my gosh. And he pulls this thing out, and he can see these spirits. And then all of a sudden, the doctor runs in there, and, and I guess kills him. Videotape ends. Well, then she's like, what? what? What the heck's going on here? And then the guy comes back, and she tells him, like, that she's been like downloading his hard drive or something like that and they discover that the person that they have uh, been looking for this is basically his apartment because they find recordings of him in front of a video of in front of a video camera talking about like how each of the video tapes affect you or something and if you don't watch them in the right order they won't affect you so then the girl watches the next one and the next one is about this guy. My friend Brandon would love this. Brandon, if you're watching this video, trust me, you'll like this. Uh, this is about a guy who gets on his bicycle and he comes across this girl. And, you know, like, earlier on his girlfriend was, like, basically saying, you don't spend enough time with me, you know, you, you're on that thing more than you're on me. And so, you know, so he's riding this bike and he comes across this girl. And this girl's like, please, you gotta help my boyfriend. Something attacked us. And, like, she starts throwing up. And then he run, like he starts threatening the people. He's like, come on, you crazy people. Come on. Come on, I can take you. And then he turns around. And then she becomes a zombie. And then she munches on him. And then he becomes a zombie. And so, like, like it kind of shows the process of like, how he turns. Like, you know, he got bitten and he starts throwing up. And then he starts throwing up blood. And then, like, it's just a, it's kind of a classic zombie thing. So, like, you see, like, these zombies are, like, munching on people. They're finding random people to munch on. And the most disturbing part of this one for me was at this little girl's birthday party. And the zombies are coming close. I was like, oh, no, no, come on. Don't show us eating it. Don't show us the zombies eating a child. And the zombies going to massacre. Little kids get away, though. Trust me, they do. And what was really interesting is when the zombie's getting ready to attack this one survivor, he gets a phone call. And his girlfriend's like, you butt dialed me. And the girlfriend's talking like, you know, uh, I can't wait for you to come back home. I miss you. I love you, baby. And the zombie actually starts to feel sad. I was like, wait, so is he starting to re regain his consciousness? Like, does he know what he is? And so like, it sounds like the zombie's almost kind of crying. And so the zombie commits suicide. I was like, dang, that was weird. And so then the boyfriend comes back and he notices like his girlfriend's just like a deer in the headlights just staring at the camera, at, at the TV. She's just like, and she has a nosebleed. Like she starts freaking out and he's like, is it one of your migraines? And she's like, yeah, it's one of my migraines. And so 
he finds out that she ha- that she doesn't have her her medication. So he leaves the house to go get some for her while she watches the next videotape. And this one was weird was good until it kind of got to the ending. So this one is about this guy who believes in like this new type of faith and so you know the the people that are interviewing him they're like, you know, would you be okay with us coming to your house and experiencing your faith? And they're like, well, no, we don't invite anyone who's not a believer. And so he's like, oh, we, well, we, we want to be invited into your new faith. And so, you know, we're willing to do anything. You know, we, we just want to see what your new faith is like. So they go up to the house and they show us, like, what this place is like. you got children singing, like, they're really creepy. Uh... This was basically a satanic cult. Like this guy saying he's the god of this cult, of this religion. And it showed him earlier before they were coming over, he was cutting himself with a box cutter. And like all the women and every every single person in this house is freaking creepy. And so like they start asking questions and stuff like that. And so the guy's like, okay, wait, 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 wait. We're going to have to stop. Um, The battery's running low. And so when he's going out to get the battery, we find out that his fiance is pregnant by his co-worker. And while he's watching, he's listening and he's watching everything on his iPad, everything starts going to crap. Like, um, uh, these creepy nurses walk up to this girl and she's like, you've been blessed and, and your child is going to be like these. She's going to, your child is going to be just like this. And, and she's like, what? And basically like, she's wondering... And she's talking to the baby daddy, and, it, and like, it doesn't mention it, but, like, it's kind of like, how the heck did they know that I was pregnant? Like, they're having this conversation, like, you know, I don't need you, I don't need him, whether he stays or he walks, I don't need anybody except my child. And so, then later on, like, these bells start ringing, like, the da, 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 da. Da, da. And this is like when everything starts going to crap. People are committing suicide, and people like their bodies are exploding. And they find like a, a woman who's had a C-section, but somehow she's still alive. Like her stomach was ripped open, and I was like, "Oh, good gosh!" And I honestly thought that she was dead. Like I thought she was a zombie or something. And here's the thing. Like, you see all these people commit suicide. You see like, these people put their guns to their heads and shotguns to their heads. And they all get back up. And I was like, oh my gosh, what the heck's going on? And he finds... this. The main guy, unfortunately, gets his head blown off. Uh, and, like, whenever they say amen, they, they commit suicide. And so... The baby daddy is basically, like, the only survivor. And he's running around... And then he finds her. And like he, like he sees like these occult women have her gripped. And he gets her free. But then a blade comes out of her stomach. And she practically gives birth to Satan. I mean, like this thing has like the curved horns, the goatee, the wings. She gave birth to freaking Satan. And it's like he's running. And like all the people that committed suicide are getting back up. And trying to kill him and chase after him and everything. He gets away. But Satan himself kicks the car or does something damage it and, and the guy comes out of the car and like you know he's bleeding everywhere and then all of a sudden like Satan lands on the car and basically looks into the camera and then looks at the guy and goes Papa and I was like well this is awkward and then that video ends with uh with him it doesn't really say what happens I mean I'm guessing he dies so then we cut back to the house and the boyfriend comes back and discovers that his girlfriend is dead. So, you know, he's really upset and he puts in one final tape. This one was kind of odd for me. Um, this one is about this, these kids, like the parents have gone on like a vacation or a weekend or something. And the younger, like two younger brothers or something. And they have a sister and they love picking on her because her boyfriend's a douche. And so, like, you know, like, they're ruining, like, their parties and, like, you know, they're filming them having sex and they're, they're basically making her life heck. So the girlfriend and the boyfriend, like, the sister and her boyfriend are like, okay, let's, let's try and film this guy. And earlier on, they were doing something like where they put a camera on the dog. 
it's like they put the camera on the dog and they notice that the brother is the brother's masturbating. And so they basically they're gonna get footage of this and get him back for all the crap that he's done to them. Well, all of a sudden there's this loud bang, and then there's another like the power cuts out, and like the boyfriend's like getting the uh, her dad chug is like I'm gonna blow your all's freaking heads off, and he walks out there and then something gets him, and it's freaking aliens. I was like really <laughs> aliens. So like basically the 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 girlfriend the the sister calls the cop or calls the cops and like they're on the run pretty much and the dog and this one actually hit me emotionally uh, at the end because the aliens basically pick up everybody and the dog still has the camera and uh, when the when the daughter gets sucked up into the mothership the dog falls and it lands on the ground and it cries and then it dies and I was like, oh, why did the dog have to die? And so the boyfriend, when the boyfriend gets done watching the tape, he's got this, like, just this confused look on his face. Like, well, what the heck was that? And then he notices, like, he finds the video, like, he finds the footage of the guy basically talking about how, like, his mom has respected his decision and he tries to commit suicide. And so after he shoots himself he gets back up like nothing happened. Like he's a freaking Terminator or something. And then his girlfriend gets up and starts chasing after him and he breaks her neck. And like she's, she still gets up and starts chasing after him and he gets in the closet. And earlier on in the film, they, discuss, they, they mentioned that she had a gun in her purse just in case someone came after her. And so, freaking... He freaking shoots her in the head like as soon as... Like, like he's got the closet door open and... The, like the girl peers her head and he just shoots her square in the head. I was like, that's a good shot. Well, all of a sudden like he's attacked by like his girlfriend again and he eventually dies. And the movie ends with the with the guy that they were looking for with his tongue hanging out because like, you know, his jaw's gone. Giving the thumbs up. Or like going like... And then the movie ends. And I was like, you know, that, that one, that wasn't too bad. Um... The first one feels like a longer sit. Uh, you know, um, I'd probably have to say my favorite video. Probably. Probably my favorite tape is probably it's either the first one. Or the second, just because I like The Walking Dead. But overall, I'm going to give this movie, you know, it's it's a little bit better than the first VHS um, because I just felt like the first one was a little bit of a long watch. Like, you know, I kept looking at the clock like, uh, come on, how much longer is this going to be? This one, not really. Um, you know, I'm going to give this movie a B. Uh, it's got some good scares. Uh, it's, it's interesting. The alien thing kind of killed it for me. So actually, no, no, no actually, no. Okay, my final grade for VHS 2, uh, I'll take it to a, I'll give it a C plus. It's a, it's an okay film. I, I, I love both these movies. I really do. I like them. But I think uh, from a B to a, from a C plus to, uh, to a B, I, I'll give it, I'll give it that. Um, but guys, put in the comments below, what did you think about VHS 2? Did you like it better than the first? Did you like the first better than the second? I really want to know, guys. Hope you all are having a good summer and enjoying my videos. I'll be back for more. Just you wait. Have a good night, guys.